Hello there, my name is Daniel Cornis, or you could just call me Dan for short, and I am a machine learning engineer. And today, I want to talk about how you can use machine learning for log analysis. And when I mean logs, I don't mean tree logs, I mean server logs, or logs that are generated from various products. So, let's get right into it. So, in regards to logs, let's talk about a little, about, a little bit about what these logs are. See, logs are generated by various products, whether it's a server or uh, base stations or any kind of basically electronical product. Some kind of logs are being generated. And with the help of those logs, various developers and testers can use that information to test, debug, find problems, fix problems, and so on. And so in the specific example that I have previously worked on, using BTS or base station uh, information for analyzing or uh, determining what problems may possibly occur. See, base stations are these uh, boxes that basically help us to communicate with our cell phones to the internet so we can uh, make calls, uh, go on TikTok or any of these various uh, cool things that we could do on our cell phone. This is all done with the help of base stations. Our phone connects to that base station and the information is transmitted back and forth. And so as developers and testers, we have to analyze what is going on on that uh, base station. And so with the help of these logs, we could analyze these various problems. However, the big problem with these uh, logs is that hundreds and thousands of various logs are being generated uh, every second. And as testers especially, we do not have the human capacity to analyze every single specific detail or statistic. We can only get a handful of uh, the most important statistics and be able to analyze that. And hopefully we don't miss anything else uh, that we didn't check. So the solution for this problem would be to use machine learning. And so with the help of machine learning, like any kind of computer, it can analyze all the statistics with a matter of seconds, effortlessly, and additionally, not only tell us whether or not there's a problem, but also explain to us what could be causing the problem in the future. And so in the specific uh, project that I have been working on in the previous years, we use machine learning to analyze those statistical problems. With the help of classical uh, machine learning, nothing really too complex or anything complicated, we used uh, machine learning, specifically XGBoost, to analyze these various statistics. We used historical data from previous uh, historical tests from previous months to uh, train our machine learning model to determine which set of logs showed correct uh, behavior and which set of logs did not show correct behavior. And so with that, we were, we were able to create a classification model that told us, okay, something's wrong in this uh, set of logs, you need to check it out as a tester. And so we also went one step further uh, with the help of an additional library called SHAP, which basically it gives us an explanation of which features within the model uh, steered the decision of the model to go either true or false or correct or incorrect. And so with the help of that library, we were able to determine which statistics persuaded the model to determine that the outcome of these logs were incorrect or correct. And so with that additional information, we were able to analyze more specifically and more thoroughly the various statistics or logs that were being generated and be able to find various bugs and problems faster before they went out into production. Because if any problems were found on production on the client side, of course, that costs us a lot more money to be able to analyze and fix those problems. So it is possible to use machine learning for analyzing logs. It's a lot of fun. It's a very specific niche not the typical analyzing images or text. This is very specific text or numerical values, but it is possible. And so if you want to enhance your knowledge in this area or try to uh, better understand how to construct these type of projects, models from beginning to end, analyzing the problem, determining which model to use, moving it into production, I highly recommend uh, the book, Designing uh, Machine Learning Systems. Uh, it's an O'Reilly book, very helpful, very well explained of the various steps and processes that you need to go within the machine learning lifecycle to be able to uh, launch your machine learning product uh, into production. So I highly recommend using that book. And so that's it. 
Uh, if you want to check out more information that I post on the internet, be sure to check me out on social media. Everywhere I, I am uh, D-A-N-K-O-R-N-A-S, Dan Cornus. That is my uh, social media tag. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, wherever you can. So thanks for listening and see you later. Mm-hmm.